been telling you about over the last couple of weeks. The mystery of a long overdue library book has been solved with the help of our reporting here at KPIX. Well, the Napa man who returned the library book checked out of the St. Helena Library nearly 100 years ago. He's come forward and he said he found it in a stack of old books while cleaning up and decided to just return it. He believes his grandfather-in-law checked out that book. Get this back in 1927. So Jim Perry joins us live now from Napa this morning. Jim, thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. So, okay, we have a couple of questions about this. How did sure. you even come across the book? Well, I was just doing some spring cleaning and I uh, saw the book and I thought it'd be fun to turn into the St. Helena Library because it had, you know, the date 1927 on the inside cover. So when you first saw that and you saw the date that it was checked out from 1927, what were the initial thoughts that went through your head? Well, I, I saw 25 cents written on the top of the page and I figured <laughs> that maybe my family purchases it, but it turned out that that was the cost per month to check the book out. So I didn't realize the significance of the book for the St. Helena Library. Yeah, I mean, that's a big spender by the time you finally uh, checked it back in. So who do you yeah. believe actually checked it out all those years ago? Well, I checked back and I think it was John McCormick who was born in 1871 on our wow. family ranch above St. Helena. And he was about 55 years old and he had two daughters. And um, I, I assume that he probably checked it out for, for them. Did you find anything else when you were doing that spring cleaning along with that book? Well, there are a couple other older books uh, in the box, too, that had some significance to Napa Valley history, but I wanted to keep those. Mm -hmm. And Jim, so when you saw our story about it when it was returned, what was your initial reaction? Well, it was funny because I was in Minnesota and um, my uh, wife's brother's son was getting married and it was 10 o'clock and I was streaming Channel 5 News and you had a teaser and it uh, showed the book and my wife was about to go to sleep. This is 10 o'clock. I said, honey, I think that's that's the book I turned into St. Lena Library. <laughs> and and she said, oh, I'm going to sleep. It's probably not. So uh, it turned out that I waited to the end of the feature and it, sure enough, I could there tell was it. it was my book that I turned in. Amazing. I mean, what a small yeah. world that is. And so did you do it? Did you read it at all or anything or you just turned it right back in? Oh, well, I, I've, I've tried to read it, but it was such poor condition that I was worried that it would come apart. Mm -hmm. So, but it's a fascinating book, lots of illustrations. And, um, you know, I think it was 900 pages, 800 pages of the history of the United States. So pretty cool. Yeah, and a little piece of history there too. And very good of you to return it to the St. Helena Library. I'm sure they appreciate it as well. And thanks so much for reaching back out to us and coming forward for doing this. Sure. We appreciate it. It's a fun story. Thanks. Yeah. Have a great